Hello everyone, I am at the Christie booth with Joel. Joel, how are you? I'm doing good, Philip. Thanks. Another show. I know. In hot, balmy Orlando, Florida. I know. Yeah, you want to stay inside here, that's for sure. Exactly. It's a lot <laughs> cooler in here than it is out there. Absolutely. You guys are showing some really interesting demonstrations sure. and, and some new projectors. Can you talk a little bit about it? Yeah, we are. I mean, one of the things that we always try to do when we come to these shows is instead of doing a lot of traditional just 16 by 9 type projection, we like to mix that up with also some application uses, right? So we have an immersive room that I'll tell you a little bit about. We have some architectural pieces, kind of like sculptures, if you will, that mm -hmm. were 3D sculptures that we're projection mapping on. Mm -hmm. And we have some traditional 16 by 9 uh, products as well. But two products that we launched at ISC, but it's the first time we're actually showing them in the Americas, mm -hmm. are the new Sapphire hybrid projector. You, you also are showing direct LED. Yep. And being able to see the unique use cases for the projector yeah. helps kind of explain why you have both display options in your product portfolio. Yeah, and I mean, it's no secret that obviously LED is everywhere and a lot of applications that were projection based are now moving to LED, but there are still people who want to do things like covering buildings or structures or, or a temporary event where you don't want to cover the entire thing with LED, or there's also applications where you need a large scale image and the cost of doing it with LED, it just doesn't make sense compared mm -hmm. to projections. So there's still definitely good applications for projections, but a lot of traditional projection stuff is being uh, taken over by LED. So it's important for Christy, and we've been in LED for over almost 10 years now. Mm -hmm. So we've been moving along with the times as well. Okay, so why don't you walk me around the booth and show me some of the cool displays. Sounds great. All right, so we have our new Sapphire uh, 4K40 RGBH product. It's basically the HFR hybrid. It's the world's first high brightness 40,000 lumen projector on the market. And people ask us, what does a hybrid mean and why did you bring it out? So Chrissy had, has had the RGB product line for quite some time, giving you the best color reproduction at Rec 2020. And Chrissy has also been known in the last several years for giving you the best color reproduction and projection. The challenge is with RGB, there are certain things you can't do. You can't do rear projection because the lasers cost too much speckle. You also can't do things like Infotech 3D where you know theme parks and immersive spaces, they want to be able to give people glasses, inexpensive glasses that they can use. And you can't do that with RGB as well because those filters aren't compatible. So we wanted to fill that gap in our product line and that's where the Sapphire comes in. It's a 40,000 lumen hybrid light source. So it's uh, a mix of RGB light with laser phosphor and it, it basically allows us to do things like rear projection and um, infotech applications. So it's fantastic for that. On top of that, we didn't we could have done that with just a laser phosphor projector, but we didn't want to just have a Me Too product. So we decided to do this hybrid because it gives you the P3 color space. So you're able to get better color reproduction while solving uh, those issues that you may have had with your RGB product. So the product is now in mass production. It's complementing our Griffin series. It's not replacing it. So Griffin is still our flagship product, but you have an application that uh, is ideally suited for the Sapphire. It'll help us uh, satisfy some of our customers who have been asking us to deliver this. Okay, so what you can see behind me is actually a Sapphire in rear projection mode. So the one that was just behind me before was the, so people can actually see the physical product, but you can see the beauty, the beauty of rear projection. You can have people walk right up to the screen. You're not causing any shadows. And in this case, you have a fantastic image at the P3 color space, which really pops your colors and pulls people in because they're not uh, used to seeing an image that vibrant. In fact, we have folks coming in here asking if that's an LED wall because they're not seeing a projector anywhere when in fact it's projection. So one of the other products we're showcasing here for the first time is the Jazz Series. It's the latest, greatest in our one DLP product line. It uses Texas Instruments latest DMD, which is the 0.8 HEP DMD. It's a high efficiency DMD, which allows us to effectively take projectors that used to be 25% larger and make them smaller while still maintaining the high brightness levels, right? This model is available in four tiers. We have uh, a 16,000, an 18,000, a 21, and a 24,000 lumen model. And we have two models that are 1920 by 1200 and two models that are UHD, pixel shifted uh, 4K effectively. And this product's nice because the size, the form factor, the price, 
are all smaller than the predecessors, which allows you to bring these products into spaces where you wouldn't have been necessarily been able to do that before because of the size of the power requirements and so on. You can run this thing at full brightness on 240, but you're getting 80% of the brightness running it out of a 120 plug out of the wall. And you're getting fantastic color, high brightness, better contrast at a better price. So the Jazz Series has been doing very well for us since we launched it earlier this year. So what we're doing here to showcase uh, an application, as I mentioned earlier, we wanted to show some real use cases. So this is the kind of thing you might see in a museum where it's, it happens to be a multi-layered sculpture that was created by an artist for us. And then we had some content created to specifically map to that structure. And actually, it's been kind of the focus point, pulling people into their booth. We've had hundreds of people stop by and video it because it really pulls your attention. It's not something you're used to seeing and people kind of figuring out, how are you doing that? And then they realize, oh, there's a projector and it's being projection mapped. And, one of the things you can really do for projection mapping is once you take some, you have a 3D model of your object, you create content that's specific to that model, it really brings it to life and it's the major difference between doing, I guess, if you will, easy projection mapping or just taking a, a standard image and projecting on an object as opposed to taking content that's been specifically mastered for what you're projecting on and this has really been a big hit for us. So we have another uh, sculpture type uh, display in the booth, which is being driven by two M-Series pure RGB projectors. They're three chip DLP projectors that are pure RGB, which means you get the ability to get Rec 2020 color space. So uh, you'll basically notice that the reds, the greens, the blues that are coming out of these projectors are very vibrant. They really pop. And that's important when you're doing projection mapping, you're not projecting on a standard surface. So one of the things that you can really see it here is we've blended those two projectors together uh, in order to uh, give us a wider aspect ratio on this, on this particular uh, design. And then the colors just bring the entire piece to life. So again, it was important for us to, to show the application of projection, not just in standard 16 by nine applications, but in artistic displays or things that are gonna grab people's attention or whether it's in a corporate lobby or an event space or something temporary. Uh, these things really pull people in. So we have an immersive room here at the show where we're showcasing six of our Inspire series projectors with short throw lenses covering the floor and all the walls in the booth. And one of the reasons we've been seeing, there's a lot of people that are actually starting to use these spaces again. In the old days, most of these kind of, uh, I guess if you will, immersive spaces had to use rear projection and you needed a lot of square footage in order to get the projectors back here. But with the introduction of a lot of these products that are smaller, higher brightness, you know, getting 9,000 lumens or 10,000 lumens in a small projector with a short throw lens, you can actually have the projectors right in the room. So if you go in there and you can see, you can see the projectors are actually, you can count four of them and then we, we, we cut some holes to be able to do the floor. We have those projectors above the structure. But ultimately, with six projectors, we're able to do this entire room. And then we've partnered with Augmenta, a company that does motion tracking and we have our Pandora's Box media server playing the content back. So those three product solutions allow you to have a space where you can go in, and in this case, we're doing like a museum type application, but it could be like a retail application where somebody wants to go in and sample what a kitchen would look like. They select the counter, the fridge, the, 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 um, uh, the cupboards, and get a look of what it would actually look like visually in a space that can be used for multiple applications. So we're really seeing a resurgence of the immersive spaces. Okay, so what you're seeing behind me is our flagship projector, the Griffin series. You can see it's rigged up top in a rigging frame. We've partnered with Exact Solutions, a company that makes rigging frames for larger projectors. And we're showcasing it on a, a, a smaller 16 by nine screen. We really wanted to show that the benefits of Rec 2020 color space. So we had content that's mastered to Rec 2020 that we're showing on there. Again, really showing the benefits of having the really vibrant reds, vibrant greens and blues and, all, and mixing all those colors together. It really makes it pop. It almost makes it look like it's an LED, uh, the type of, of image you're getting out of this while still getting really good contrast. The, you can either use a Griffin 4K35 or 4K50, so we have two models of that product. And we also offer uh, optional lenses for these products. All of our, most of the majority of our products have optional lenses. But in addition to this, we offer ultra high contrast lenses for these. So if you have an application where you're willing to trade off brightness to triple your contrast, you can get as high as 6,000 to one contrast, native on off contrast with an ultra high contrast. Uh, lens with the, the, the Griffin series of projectors. So it's a fantastic product um, that we're showcasing here at the show. So Joel, amazing. 
really cool uh, demonstrations. I love the, the mapping stuff is always the, cool, the coolest. Okay. So if I want to learn more about Christie's latest lineup of projectors, where should I go? Hey, you go, come to our website. It's uh, christydigital.com and you'll find out all the information there. And we can also go to our YouTube channel where you'll see some videos, various products, latest, greatest things. All right, so take care and Thank we will you. talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.